Hey guys, it's Lisa and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup tutorial. This is a updated look and this is going to be the one that I'm doing while I'm in Vancouver because I didn't bring that much makeup with me. So this is just my go-to everyday currently. So I've already done my skincare and of course put on sunscreen. So I'm going to show you all the steps after. But first I'm going to clip up my hair because I just washed it. It's just air drying right now. I have a little bit of a natural curl going on. I don't know if you guys know that from before. That's why I always curl my hair instead of straightening it. The first step is I'm gonna go in with my primer. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Primer. And I'm also gonna be using their foundation right after. So I'm just gonna rub this hair. Afterwards, I'm gonna go in with my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And it just looks a little bit different because I got the travel size for me traveling, so I don't have the full size. I to just put this on my hand, then dab it all over my face. This foundation is so good for every day and it's very skin-like, but it is kind of expensive, but very worth it. Put this in. It's kind of hard, I'm using the camera as my mirror, so I'm sort of doing this blind. After foundation, I'm gonna set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. I like to put it all over my face and I do avoid the under eye area because I'm going to go in with concealer. For concealer, I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am in the shade Fair Light Neutral and I go about two shades lighter. And I'll take my beauty blender and blend this out. And for all the excess, I actually put it on my eyelids so it'll give the eyeshadow more color and let the color stand out a little bit more. So I'll just dab it and use the residual for my eyelids. Okay, so now that concealer is done, I'm gonna set the concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So this one, I just take a little, I don't actually bake every day, I just do like a very light dab. So it doesn't even look like I have residual powder afterwards. And I also like to put some on my nose. I find that for my nose, it's where it falls off the most, my makeup. So I try to do a little bit of powder on my nose as well, so it stays longer. After that, I'm gonna go on to brows, but before I go on to brows, I like to use a little bit of Eye Envy first. This is a lash serum, and I've got short Asian lashes. So it's very important to put on lash serum to help me with my lash growth. I'll let that dry, and this is when I'll do my eyebrows. So for eyebrows, the first product that I use is this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know what the name of this product is called, but you guys all need it because it does 90% of the work for you. So I just kind of brush it on very lightly. So it kind of already does the work and then I'll go in with pencil to fill in the gaps. So then I use the same thing, Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil and I'll fill in the gaps. I'm in color dark brown. Once again, the first product is really key because if you use your pencil the whole time, you'll run out very quickly and it also will take forever. So I'll use this to outline my brow like this. Maybe I'll get closer. And then I just brush it up. I just like to do that little line and then use the spoolie to brush it. Sometimes I'll conceal the top. I think I actually will today. So I'll take the same concealer and I'll just dab a little bit. It's better to use a brush, but I did not bring a concealer brush to Vancouver. So I'm just using a beauty blender and praying for the best. Also, if I'm sweating, it's because it's so hot and it's not common to have AC in Vancouver, so that's why. The next step is I put on eyeshadow primer and this one is the anti-aging one by Urban Decay. So I'll just rub this in. I wanted to do this video because when I saw myself in the bathroom mirror, I'm like, this reminds me of the Vogue videos. So I'm like, might as well do a Vogue like. Not like this is actually sponsored by Vogue because it is not. After I put on the eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna go with my eyeshadow. The one I'm gonna use today is the Tarte Flirt palette or Tartelette. It's just really tiny and once again, since I'm traveling to Vancouver, I didn't wanna bring a very big palette. So this is just my travel palette. So the first thing I do is I take this top right color right here 
and I will dab my brush in and smudge it all over my eyelid. Sometimes I don't even know why I do this because it doesn't even give that much color, but I do it anyway. Then I will go in with the second color and the second color I'm using is this one right here. And this one I just do all over my lid, but just a little lower. Honestly guys, the way I do my eyeshadow has not changed in 10 years. I feel like maybe the color changes, but the technique is pretty much the same thing. So now, oh my God, it looks really aggressive on camera, but I promise you it will not look as aggressive later. Then I use this darker color here and I'll do the corners. Okay, looks kind of bad right now, but I actually take another brush and I blend this all in together. Guys, I am sweaty, it's so hot. And then last thing is I'll take this shimmery color here and I'll actually use my ring finger and I just smudge it in the beginning areas of the eye like this. I know it looks like a lot of eyeshadow, but when you have mono lids, you have to put on more eyeshadow or else when you open your eyes, it just doesn't look like you did anything. So this is to compensate. And then the last step, I actually take a brush. It's very pointy as you guys can see. And I'll take the darker color again. So the darkest color that I have here and I will just put it in this corner and I just dab it lightly. And I will also blend this, don't worry. And this is just to close off the eyes because obviously the top makeup is a little heavy. Oh my God, the makeup face is so funny. And then I'll blend it out. Now that that's done, I actually will go in with my face palette. So I have the one from Charlotte Tilbury. I use this all the time and I tell you guys that I use it all the time. I have two, so I have one back home and this one is a different color and a different palette-ish, but it's the same idea. And I have this for my travel. I'll take the face palette first because I actually use the highlighter and I put it in the corner of my eye just to brighten it. And also sometimes like just in the middle here. I don't actually put on this much every day, but I just feel like in front of the camera, it looks very aggressive and a lot for some reason. So I'm gonna come back to the face palette again for my face, but right now I'm just gonna finish up my eyes. The first thing is I'm gonna line my eyes and then I'm gonna do it twice and I'll show you guys how I do it. The first product that I use or I'm using currently is another one by Tarte and this one is called the Sex Kitten. It looks like this and it's basically a pencil one but more of a gel and it also has like this smudgy thing on the side so the reason why i have to do it twice is because once again as a mono litter eyeliner doesn't stay on all that well you can't just do a thin line or else nobody is gonna see so you have to do a thicker line and i actually like to pull it up from the bottom this looks kind of creepy and i hope i'm aiming it right i'll even start the wing but not really finish it I just need it for the darkness of the color because with pencil, it's so much easier to do this. At home, I use the Bobbi Brown Dip Gel. I don't even know how this looks because I can't see. Okay, it's not that bad. It looks like a mess. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks terrible, but it's fine because I'm gonna go with liquid liner and the one I'm using is also by Tarte and this is called the Tarte Teast. And actually this is why this one's my travel one because it's actually double sided and one end is the liquid liner, which I'm gonna use right now, and one end is the pencil liner, but the pencil liner always runs out so fast. So right now my pencil liner is dead and I only have the liquid, but when it's full, it's the perfect travel eyeliner because I don't have to bring like a dip brow and a liquid liner, I can just bring this one thing. But then now I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'll show you how I finish it off. I just have to be careful and not blink first or else it's gonna make an imprint. Okay guys, it already started to make an imprint, so I need to take a Q-tip and fix this. Okay, so the next step is I will take a lash curler and I'll curl my lashes 
Usually I'll do the blow dryer trick, which is when you blow dry your lash curler before you curl it. But because I'm really lazy today, I'm not going to be doing that, but usually it helps the lashes hold a lot longer. So right now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara, and there's two sides to this. One is the eyelash primer and one is the mascara itself. So the first layer is super white because it's just priming the lashes. Honestly guys, eyelash primer really does work. My favorite one is actually the one by YSL, but this one's a pretty good drugstore one as well. So after that, I'll go in with the mascara. I'll wait a little bit to let it dry. If I have extra time on my hands, what I do is I'll do my face makeup and then right after, once the mascara dries a little bit longer, then I'll go in with another coat. So right now I'm gonna show you what I do with my face makeup. The face makeup makes the biggest difference. I'm using the same palette that I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna start off, and I always start off for some reason with blush. So I usually just mix the two, there's not really a preference. And then I just put this on the apple of my cheeks in circular motion. I really like this blush because the color is great and there's a little bit of a shimmer. So I know this went on really aggressively. Sometimes it'll do that. Okay, so what you guys do when it's like this is I just use the beauty blender to blend this out. So it's not as aggressive. The lighting has also changed so drastically in the last five seconds. So hopefully you guys can still see me. So this is now the blush. Then I'll take the bronzer. Once again, this lighting makes it look so bad, but I have to blend a lot more. Okay. Then for highlighter, I actually just use my fingers. So I'll just dab this in this area here like so. And then on the other side, plop it on like this. And then I really like to do this highlighter here, a little bit on top, and then a little bit on the cupid's bow. And I actually also like to take my fingers and dab it in the bronzer to contour my nose a little bit. With using your finger, it is a lot more natural. What makes it even more natural is actually if you take a concealer or not like a concealer, but like something like a concealer brush to brush it out. Sorry, the lighting is really bad, so it's making my makeup look really bad, but I will switch this in a second. Hey guys, I turned on the light and see how like the makeup, it looks so different. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to showing you the blush. Okay, it looks way less aggressive now. Sorry about that lighting. That was so bad. So this is pretty much what we have. And once again, with the nose contour, we are just doing the concealer or whatever brush to help blend that. And this is pretty much the full face. I'm gonna go in with a mascara to top off another coat. That should be good. I don't put on false lashes every day. I actually just do this mascara routine and that's it. For lip, honestly, every day is kind of different for me, but I would say my current go-to is just putting on a little bit of lipstick. Usually my go-to is putting on the Pillow Talk Lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. I actually realized I don't like to put on the lipstick like that. I actually like to just dab it and blend it with my fingers so it doesn't look too heavy. You just use your fingers to go through. It's a very great everyday color. I think I've mentioned it a couple times and then sometimes I'll go in with lip gloss. So I'll either go in with the Pillow Talk lip gloss by Charlotte Tilbury or this is my favorite Buxom one. This is the Buxom lip gloss in White Russian. So I'll just go in with this to top it off. So this is pretty much my everyday makeup routine, especially right now while I'm in Vancouver. It actually only takes me about 20 minutes to do this whole thing. I have gotten used to doing this really, really quickly now. It doesn't take me too long. I think what takes me longer is, if anything, my hair. I'm just waiting for it to dry so I can curl it or something. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with it yet. That's pretty much my updated everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.